eyes are fascinating piece of art thanks to which we can see all the earth beauty cities cars girls <laughs> and it's brilliant to build that also quite creepy as you can see basically the whole human race is chilling throughout the day until the night falls because then we are totally unusable because we see a total shit but according to quite a few articles there should be some sort of night vision of course it won't be as efficient as animals night vision so let's call it night vision from a wish <laughs> Where else to test our built-in night vision than in the beautiful Czech forest? It starts to be very creepy, but from my eyes, I can still see clearly everything. Bear grills back in the forest. Pita <laughs> Okay, this is quite like cozy, but... <laughs> that was the leaf, man. <laughs> Today's gonna be funny video. Okay, let's set it up. Let's set it up. Night vision, also called scaratopic vision, is the eye's natural ability to see in dim or dark conditions. It relies on several parts of the eye working together, especially the pupils, which will widen to get them more light. This works the same way in uh, the camera world. The bigger the hole you will make in the lens, the more the sensor will receive light. There'll be less noise. You will achieve shallower depth of field, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it will be better. Especially the pupils, which widen to get them more light and the retina oh yeah macbook retina oh yeah <laughs> which contains about 120 million rod cells and 6 million cone cells while cones are responsible for color and detail and bright light rods the more important ones for this challenge uh, for this test experiment the rods are 500 to 1000 times more sensitive to light and specialize in black and white vision in low light settings particularly in the peripheral field i have it prepared here 30 minutes and 40 seconds it's just meant to darkness is an instant. Human eyes begin adapting within 5 to 8 minutes, but full night vision takes around 40 minutes. So if you're asking, yeah, I'll be sitting here for 40 minutes in pitch black darkness. And I gotta say it right away, any kind of light, this light, possibly maybe even the red dot, which the video camera, the camcorder makes, you know, it will destroy the test. So no light, no light whatsoever. I will turn everything off. I will just put on timer for 29 minutes because that's when the camera will stop rolling and I have to somehow uh, you know, restart it. And now we will sit here just for 50 minutes, let's say, to find out if I will see more. By the way, guys, if you are into the case, the mysterious disappearance of Dutch women who went to Panama, basically they got lost. There are multiple conspiracy theories. There were those scary, creepy, eerie pictures with night with flashlight on. And one of those conspiracy theories is that they tried to scare off someone coming close to them. Someone said that they would destroy their night vision that's one of the reasons why i decided to do this test to see if they possibly had a chance to see something without the flashlight also there could be some really not pleasant things i could see because i note down here this in near total darkness your brain does a lot of guessing based on minimal input you might see movement or shapes that aren't really there. Uh, let's hope that those shapes won't be really there because if I will encounter someone here, I'm not in America, you know, serial killers occur there a lot more, but I will anyways probably hear him if he will be sneaking up on me from behind, you know, <laughs> in this forest you can... If I didn't hear him, then you won't see this video, I guess. <laughs> this phenomenon is called Pareo Idolia. Pare idolia. Your mind tries to create familiar patterns like faces or animals out of vague shadows. I didn't find some reference photo like they would, for example, shoot a picture of this forest behind me, let's say, first minute and 40th minute how the person saw it, let's say. Okay, if I already passed eight minutes, then my pupils should be widened as much as they possibly can. Can I see any difference? Oh, I probably still see the same <laughs> as before. <laughs> black trees, everything black and white. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can see blue sky, dark blue sky, and I can see my white socks. That's wow! Cool. Compared to many animals, human night vision is limited. Animals like cats, dogs, blah, 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 they are superior in this, you know. They have features such as large eyes, wider pupils, and a reflective layer, which is quite, like, important, called the tapetum lucidum. Tapetum lucidum. That significantly enhances their ability to see in the dark. I describe the tapetum lucidum as a mirror, which will reflect the light back to your retina. Nice. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, but like basically it works like that. As you can see here on the picture, you will receive the light. Your eye will receive the light. It will go through the retina. And then, thanks to the taper and usum, it will bounce off back to the retina. And so the retina will receive the same light double times. And so that's why wolves, orcs, cats, deers are seeing that well in night. Yeah, and that's what we don't have as humans. <laughs> nice, man. Th thanks, evolution. Thanks. <laughs> well, like, humans didn't have it even before evolution, like, before all those years passed. And that's also why cats, wolves, eyes are, like, glowing in the night. There's just, like, the light reflecting out of the Taparum Lucidum back into the world. Mirror. It's a mirror. <laughs> uh, current state of my eyes. Uh, I can see maybe even a little bit worse. Maybe my expectations are really high. If I should go this way throughout the night, a few kilometers, then that would be pain in the ass, man. I, I see shit. Basically, if you would start to paint a picture, you would put the black lines, trees, and in between there's just gray. You know, I don't see those little branches almost, just like bigger objects I see. I was curious how people before they got like under control fire, before the fire was invented, let's say, how those... Yeah, <laughs> really good idea, just Jim. <laughs> How those people like walked in the night? Just Jim, they weren't really going outside in the night. They were just like in the camp. But still, even in the camp, before they invented the fire, apparently the night vision, they trained this skydapic vision. Be glad for iPhone. Flashlight. Oh yeah, boy. Sun here. <laughs> I'm quite like checking out my surroundings. I'm quite scared. Oh, without light, we are fucked up as humans. Uh, here I see really creepy looking photo of uh, humans people, you know, which is widened as hell. But apparently this could be only achieved through some... Uh, the pupil of the eye dilates in the dark to enhance night vision. Yeah, yeah. Shown here is a pupil of an adult naturally dilated to 9mm in a diameter in meso peak light levels. The average human I is not able to dilate to this extent without the use of my dratics. Okay, I start to feel like this is a brutal test, but it's not that dark here. The hearing abilities, I would say like I'm more alert. I don't know if this whole adaptation is like linear or I will receive the most amount of boost in like five last minutes. We'll see. It would be a really good shot of my eyes right now if I would have some camera. Now I see shit because I'm looking into the phone and so... Man, that's, that's insane, man. <laughs> I will turn it off. Wow. And like suddenly everything brightens up. And we'll, oh, no shit, man. No shit, just stream, man. No shit. <laughs> but it's just like interesting. So it's been already 30 minutes. Status of my eyes, of my vision. Oh, I see black shit, dark gray shit, dark blue sky. So far I haven't encountered any serial killer. So that's a good sign. Like, of course, it would be good for the video if some square will attack me here and I will totally freak out. I can possibly take a picture, a long exposure picture that would represent what I see right now just to understand these two pictures i'm about to show you took 15 seconds i believe and then i maxed it out to 30 seconds of exposure to the light and still it wasn't enough as you can see <laughs> and i'd maybe even say that i saw a little bit more than the second the 30 seconds exposure long exposure photo which is insane you know i saw nothing almost but still my camera which is quite like average maybe a little bit above average was was worse than my eyes. And when it comes to the video, this is one eighth of the second shutter speed and you can somehow see me, but it's lagging. That's why it is one eighth of a second. In order for the video to be smooth, I would need at least 120 F fifth, because that's the frame rate, 25 frames per second, you know. F 2.8, that's the maximum 12,800 ISO. But there's been for a long time Sony's mirrorless camera series called A7 S, which are specifically made for shooting in extreme low light condition. As you can see here, this shot is not a sun with a black and white filter. This is moon. As I said on my camera, I can max it out to 12,800. Here, it goes all the way up to 400,000 ISO. Or there's another example. All these shots you are seeing right now are shot in the night. And this is, by the way, Sony A7S Mark 1, which came out in like 2013 or something like that. And this is insane, man. This is night. Do you understand it? This is night. This is not, this is not shot in the day. How he leads up the 
cigarette. So this camera is possibly even bad in our eyes. <laughs> Maybe my eyes are fucked up and I'm bad test subject for this. <laughs> Maybe I would actually compare it to seeing like a blind person, you know, this night vision I'm trying. Everything is just mud. Also, if you don't know, there's something called nyctalopia, which is basically you are blind in night. Nyctalopia refers to night blindness or difficulty of the eye in visualizing under dim light or at night. Uh, daytime vision, however, is unimpaired. Nyctalopia as we know, road cells are the ones responsible for like you know, catching the light, let's say. And so that means that they are not functioning as they should. Uh, Nyctalopia is due to the eye's inability to adapt quickly from lightness to darkness. And the principal cells type associated with Nyctalopia are road cells. Yeah, yeah blind. Check it out, man. Night blindness. You see nothing. Even when you have street lamps, cars. Wouldn't you need to have some special paper to be able to jive with Nyctalopia? When you have one cannot see like proper cars almost in the night when you cannot drive. So I don't really have Nyctalopia. I just like so shit because I was in forest without any lights. Biohackers in 2015, which is quite 10 years, what the hell man, 10 years, yeah. Maybe they progressed, but at that time they developed night vision eye drops to see in the dark. And they actually work. Team of biochemical researchers in the US figured out how to give human volunteer night vision, allowing him to see across a distance of over 50 meters or like 160 feet for my American brothers. Oh, yeah. In total darkness for several hours. The key is natural light sensitive substance called chlorine E6. CE6, <laughs> which is derived from a sea creatures and has been used for many years in cancer treatment research. Oh, okay, okay. Lissina, the guy with the night vision, reported experiencing the effects for many hours after application. Lissina and the controls were taken out into the woods at night and moved into separate locations. Then they were asked to try and spot people standing in random locations. 50 meters away. The CE6 subject identified the distant figures 100% of the time with the controls showing a 33% ident identification <laughs> identification rate. Ability wore off the following day with no noticeable side effects after 20 days. You know, this is the problem. You will manage to somehow give the person a night vision, but what about the daylight then? <laughs> you know, you will have to have you will have to have three sunglasses like so you will see normally somehow. <laughs> So you would say pretty safe, but researchers warn of the high risk of cellular toxicity as a result of the solution and said chemicals should be handled with caution. So it's not safe. <laughs> like, yeah, logically anything will put into your eye. Like, no, 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 don't mess up with your eyes. Wait for the official equipment you can buy. <laughs> but insane, insane. I want to say maybe the sky appears a bit brighter. Oh. Maybe I should have picked some field vision status. Nothing changed. I could navigate, not safely. I wouldn't see snake. I wouldn't see anything. Okay, I'll probably end the test. That was possibly enough. You know, the text at 40 minutes. I wanted to go for 50, but it seems like nothing's really changing. I don't really expect sudden boost in like I would see like an owl. Oh, that's maximum. Okay, that makes sense. 9 p.m. 52 minutes. So possibly I was here for 50 minutes. Now I see shit. So if someone will ambush me, now's the chance for him. All right, time to get the fuck out of here, man. I'm not scared. Let's go. Despite people not having this night vision, it's still fascinating how powerful our brain is to pull out so much of information out of so little source like you know light <laughs> in that forest i saw nothing and still i was able to see at least something what my camera the whole time those 40 minutes is just a pitch black even when i make out that camera <laughs> so yeah it's, it's powerful it's powerful and it's even more fascinating compare our eyes the iris you know the hole in our eyes tiny thing while have all those lenses which such a huge hole to let in as much light as possible so we have as clean image as possible so we have at least some sort of image you know lenses with f1.0 to f0.8 even and basically the small number the bigger hole you can have 90 percent of cameras even these days will struggle humanize the super when there's at least some sort of light <laughs> most there wouldn't be any light then like we would be also fucked up so the verdict of this test is that 
my expectations were too high. <laughs> I thought that I would at least see from 10% like an owl and, <laughs> and uh, that didn't happen. And basically, uh, I would say that I even didn't see any progress throughout like the beginning after those five minutes where those people should widen as much as possible as they can. I probably just like misunderstood it in my head and basically I didn't saw anything. I didn't see any progress, maybe even after like one minute, I'd say. Maybe. I described the vision I had just as an emergency navigation, you know. We should somehow invent how to put into our eyes the Tapenum Lucidum, but <laughs> that would be, man, surgistic mastery. What? 